welcome back, you guys, to Real Talk with Nana. Today, I have Elijah with me, and we have some cheeseburgers. I touched mine. And the phone's on. With some macaroni and cheese. And we have macaroni and cheese back here. So, like I said, welcome back, you guys. So, Elijah's going to say a prayer. Say a prayer, Elijah. Thank you, Lord, for this we are about to receive. Please give out all care in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So, you guys, okay, I'm going to, um, I'm going to cut mine. I don't know if you want yours uh, cut or not, but, oh, it's cheeseburgers on Texas toast. Texas toast? Yeah. That. Here. You want to cut yours? Yeah. I keep seeing these tomato burgers everywhere. What tomato burgers? It's, it's Texas toast. Uh, cut it instead of and stop trying to be funny. It's so satisfying. Though. Don't cut your finger. Oh, I won't. I'm too cool for that. Oh my gosh. Okay. You too cool for that. Don't you anyway? Hey, I'm taking a bite. We just gonna pretend like it never happened. Yeah, it happened. Uh, anyways, you got it. You know I'm gonna just pick this up. I got something to um talk to you guys about. We ain't gonna be here no. We ain't gonna be here long. We're just gonna be on here for like 15 minutes. Cause you know Nana wanna go home. Be quiet. Because Elijah just got back from his summer camp. And he probably want to take a shower and, I'm you know, cool. go do what he do. But I just thank him for coming on here, being over here with me. So, um, anyways, here. Yeah. We have some peach tea. Here, let me get the cup. This video here is for the ladies. It's for the ladies. That's peach tea. Damn, remember how you used to drink that? No, you didn't. I remember you used to drink the regular ones. No, it was this. Oh, yeah, I remember those two pieces. I remember those. Okay, so. This is. I've been. Seen a lot of stuff. On, um. YouTube and stuff about about women, about if it's okay for women to be a co-pastor in the church. A lot of men says no. That um, will place. Of a woman should be, you know, at home. That she shouldn't, you know, she shouldn't be co-pastoring pastoring or anything like that. But my thing is, it's nothing wrong with that. Because, first of all, when God created man, he created female because he said, it's not good for a man to be alone. So, that goes with anything. So, if you marry or whatever, and you choose to, you know, become a pastor or whatever, and you have a wife or whatever, and for her to be a co-pastor, I think that's good. I don't think that's, that's anything wrong with that. But a lot of people is saying something about that. But just like a lot of females, you know, we... we Right now, at this time, it seems like that females is getting a lot of backlash. Females is going through way more than men are. It is attack on us women, young and old. And it's, it's, it's becoming to be a little bit too much because it basically it is a spiritual attack. Okay. Dad, is there bacon in this? Mm -mm. Oh, I'll take some bacon. 
you no, what it's you... smoked. Oh. Smoked burger. Smoked onion burger. Oh, but it tastes good, though. Mm -hmm. So, it's attack on us women. So, I got to... I got the um praying and everything. Nothing. Okay. Anything that you want to know about anything. We know the world has, you know, stuff that you can go to and whatever. And it might work out sometime, but it's not the case all the time, so you want to go to like a to uh to a biblical aspect and so i was i was i was reading the word because a lot of females a lot of a lot of us sometimes as women we feel like we wonder what is our place where do we fit in you know is it is it is it are we just are we just made to just get married have babies Barefoot, be in the kitchen, cooking and everything. You know, because a lot of men, they feel like, okay, the only place, is, at place for a woman is just to be in the kitchen barefoot and pregnant. No. No. Elijah, turn around, pay attention, because you're going to need this information when you get it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't put that dog on candy down to eat your dog on food. Bye, bye. But anyways, pay attention. Okay. Because you're going to need this. Anyways, they feel like, okay, the only places for a woman is being in, you know, barefoot and pregnant. Be in the house. Be in the kitchen. Raise the children. But she can't be in the church. She can't speak in the church. She don't have nothing else to say. You know? And the first thing they tell you, woman, know your place. That's not good. What are you doing? Well, hold on, my teeth. Didn't nobody tell you to eat it. Uh, okay, then. I'm okay, that's fair. Okay, so I was asking God, God questions and stuff. So, um, I'm quite sure everybody knows Proverbs 31. Okay, but then a little bit down from Proverbs 31, he says, um. Charms is deceitful and beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. This, just that alone grabbed me. Because that, 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 that set me at some ease. You know, that, that, that really did something to me. That let me know that, you know, when God created the world or whatever, he, you know, he, he, he thought of us as well. But you, you get the, you know, the, the Old Testament exists as well. But when the New Testament came, God redeemed us all. A woman have, have knowledge just like a man has knowledge. Let me go on. Then it says, many daughters have done well, but I have excelled them all. Excelled us all. Okay, and then it says down in prom, prom, uh, Psalms 18. This is the good one because, you know, a lot of us women, we have a lot of things that's going against us and people, our enemies, you know do things to us and everything, and we'd be so angry. We'd be so angry about certain things that's going on in our life, certain things that's going on in our family lives, you know, and we wonder why, you know, the man, he leaves us, and we don't know what to do because, because society puts it in a man's mind that we doesn't even, we're, we're nothing. You know, that's why men calls us, that's why some men calls us a bunch of B words, you know, puts us down. Tells us we're nothing. We wouldn't be. You guys. You you men would not be here if it wasn't for us. You would not be here. Period. 
It would have stopped just right there at Adam. Period. So it also say, For you have armed me with strength for the battle you have subdued, and you have subdued under me. Those who rise up against me, you have also given me the next, the next of my enemies. So that I will destroy those who hate me. Uh. That there, it sums it all in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Because a lot of us women, we feel like, oh, we're nothing. We feel like, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're no, we, we, didn't, we didn't went through divorce. Are you about to cry? No. We didn't went through divorce. You know, man walked off, left us with a bunch of babies. And all while she's with us or whatever, he's telling us we're nothing. We play a big role. We are a big factor in everything. So we shouldn't have that type of mentality like, we, where do we fit in? We fit in there right there where that man fit in. Because, hell, half the times, if you're married and you try to do, a man try to do something, what they have to do? Go back and ask their wife. A man can't raise no household by themselves, no the cat. It takes a woman to raise a household. Point blank, period. It's the woman. And even in the Bible, in Psalms, when God talks about wisdom, he don't say, seek wisdom. He says, seek wisdom. Seek her. What is, what is a her? Her is a female, right? So we play a role in it. We play a fact. It's a factor in it. It says seek her, seek her. When you seek her, you will find wisdom. So we have a lot to offer in a relationship. If we, I love the part when he said, I love the part, and I'm going to say it again. I love the part when he said, you know, we all, you know, we want to get our nails done. We want to get our hair done and all that stuff. You know, we want to look good for these men or whatever. He said charms are deceitful and beauty is passing. Uh-huh. But a woman who fears the Lord, first of all, she will be praised. Give her the fruits of her hands. That means everything that we touch is blessed. God's going to touch everything. God's going to bless everything that we touch. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. I have a problem with, I wouldn't say uh, self-esteem, but sometimes I get to a point to where I'm like, okay, where do I fit in? Where do I fit in? And I'm asking God to help me to overcome that. Help me, help me overcome the things that I'm facing. You know, I see a lot of things that's going on in social media, but the main important thing that I see more than anything is females going through so much. And the, yes, they may be, yes, we might do a lot of things, but we doing those things not to be mean, not to be cruel, not to be nasty. I'm not saying disrespect anybody, but I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about it on a, on a level of sad. Depressed, not knowing, not not knowing what to do. You didn't gave up your whole existence, and that's one thing about women. When we go, when we go in, we go in, and we say, "Okay, I worry about that when we get when we cross that road." We don't never think about what if. We go ahead and go through it, and then me with the, after we get there, we be willing really to sacrifice everything and knowing. Physically knowing and spiritually knowing that that's not a good thing. But you know what? We go in anyways. Hoping, wishing and hoping that it's going to be better. And some, some cases it do, in some cases it don't. What do you do from there? Do you, do you, what do you do from there? Do you 
tuck your tail between your legs and, and go over, over in the corner and cry. We have done that, but that's not the thing to do because God gave us power. We have just as much as power as a man has. Really? Just as much power as y'all have. Me and Kay live without women. Mm -mm. Nope. Because if me could live without women, he Adam would have just been here and it wouldn't have been nobody else. Now. That's so sad. Because God said, a man findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. What does that tell you? I need some more PhD. Did nobody tell you to bark that down like that, Donisha Jr.? Uh, and Clifton Sr.? Uh, I know. Drink it. Hush, I'm talking. But, but the society want to tell you that women, we're nothing. All they see us good as is, is, is going to a strip club uh, wrapped around a pole. Going down on the corner, selling our bodies. That's not all we good for. Men do it too, but you don't ever hear about that. You don't ever hear about that. But my thing is, we have power as women. I believe that we have more power than men. Because when we have a situation in the home, we get in there and we handle that. The man be all frantic. The first thing a man do, he can't handle it. He get up, he pack his bags, he leave. And leave the woman there to sort out everything. But if he would have stayed just a little bit longer, the thing would have been handled. But he take off and go on about his business. Leave her holding the bag. He gone. She's there left with the kids. She's left, left with the bills. She left up there. But he didn't told her, don't worry about it, baby. Stay home. I take care of you. All I want you to do is sit home and, and take care of the kids. And cook the food. We said, okay. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not speaking from a place of bitterness. I'm speaking from a place of experience. And I'm speaking from a place of power. That's what I'm speaking from. Yes, I have downfalls. Yes, I'm going to do something. And it's, it's, Whatever's going through right now, it's attacking us women more than anything. It's attacking our livelihood. It's, it's literally attacking us. So we need to find some type of serenity. You know, you know not, not to say that you, you, know, you reject anybody or anything, but you have to find a place for you. You have to do something that's going to help you. And the only thing that's going to help you right now is Christ himself. And another thing, we see things that's going on in our lives or whatever, and we, we pretty much opens up our mouths and we say certain things. But the reason why we're in situation that we are in this day, it has nothing to do with anybody. It's because we opened up our mouths and we spoke it. When God created heaven and earth, he spoke it. He didn't go out there and, you know, plant the trees and stuff like that. He spoke it. Everything that he, everything that he created, he spoke it. So whatever you want in your life, in your life and in your children's life and in your family's life, you have to speak it. Yes, you may, you may see certain things that's terrible all over the place. But don't let that come out your mouth. Because whatever comes out your mouth, it goes up in the atmosphere. Everything that everything that we go, we are a walking seed. Everything that we say or do is a seed. Whether it's good or bad, it is a seed. And it will come back. 
My thing is, I'm not, I'm not bashing no men or anything. I love men. But it comes a time to where we have to stand up as women and stop waiting for anybody else to do anything for us. We need to do, we need God to do this for us. And we need to get out here and we need to do stuff for ourselves. If the relationship works, it works. That's fine. That's dandy. But still have your own. And always be on your guards. Be alert. Don't be so laxed and, 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 and you know, and so, oh, well, I'm not worried about it because I know babe got to no. know. Babe may have it today, but tomorrow babe might be somewhere else. And they're, they're you there because you didn't prepare yourself. So you, you, he's gone. What do you do? What do you do? The household suffers. The children suffers. You suffers. The job suffers. Everything suffers, suffers around you. Don't let nobody get you to that place to where you have to suffer. Do not. Do not. Because there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Don't let the devil tell you, oh, it's not, oh, it's too late, oh, you gave up. Oh, you might as well just give up, get, uh, cave in and quit. Oh, you might as well just go ahead and submit yourself to this man and let this man do whatever. Oh, well, you, it might even, uh, 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 you might not have what you want, but hey, you got something, so go ahead. No. Definitely not. You keep your honor. You keep your dignity. You keep your self-respect. Yes, you might struggle sometimes. The storm will pass. Don't let the devil tell you that we as women does not have anything to offer. Do not let the enemy tell you that it's, you might as well go ahead and accept what you get. Up. All I'm saying is, my queen, my ladies, Nana's babies, young, seasoned, and flavored. You know what I'm talking about. Stand up. Do what you need to do. Because this is our time. To rule and reign. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Sitting beneath someone's feet is over. It's time for us to rise up as women. And children of God and do what we need to do. Respectfully. And show love. But get out there and get on that grind and do what you need to do and make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Be proud to be a woman. Be proud because we have a lot to offer. Because if it wasn't for us, me and Dennis, what would they do? Men, when they wouldn't have nothing to do, and they want to put women down and slander their name, no. Some, I'm not gonna say all, because there is a lot of good men out there. Because there are a lot of good women out there that raise good men. Okay. Pick and choose who you who you hook up to. Pick and choose. But even if you pick or choose or whatever, you stand up for yourself and you be what it is that you're supposed to be. And you knock it out the ball, ball game. It's time to rise up. Because we're not weak. Because the world wants to say women are weak. No, we're not. We're not weak. We're not weak at all. We can do this thing. As mothers... Sisters, daughters, grandmothers, great-grandmothers, aunties, cousins. Us said women, we can do this. Make ourselves proud. And most of all, make God proud. Because he believes in us. He's just waiting for us to take that stand. We're not weak. We ain't weak at all. We're better than that. But I will see you guys on the next video. Elijah then went to use the bathroom. I ain't half myself with you guys. I think I'm, I'm quite proud. But I've been eating all day though. But, you know, I just thought that I should come on here. And I, you know, 
you know, uh, sit with you guys, talk to you guys for a minute or whatever. And um, I love you guys, and I will see you guys on the next video.